Number six then from the 2017 Advanced Higher Maths. Here we go. An integration for six marks. An integration by substitution. It says use this substitution to find the exact value of this. But luckily it's giving you that substitution. If you weren't given that substitution, you'd have to search this for patterns because integrating is really about reducing things to patterns that you recognise. There is a pattern in there you should recognise. In the denominator, the square root of 1 minus a square suggests inverse sine. If only that was a square instead of power 4. So there's an obvious substitution. And for it all to work with this awkward x on top, you would hope that whatever substitution you're using this x would be a multiple of the derivative of that substitution, and it is. So all's fine with that, but you might have been able to work that out for yourself though. So you're going to carry out a substitution. Well, that means I have to change all the bits. Obviously this bottom part's going to be easy to change. I won't change that x because I'm hoping that will get knocked out, but I'll need to change this differential here. So that what have we got for these? So do you either that or do you by dx? u by dx is going to be 10x. Now, straight away, you get a mark just for doing that. I'm going to change that part of it. But you have to rearrange it to replace that differential. So if that's the case, that means that dx, taking that across, can be replaced with du over 10x. That should really have been the first mark for changing it around, but they do give you there. If you're changing it, you could go through it all get the answer and then change it back into x's or you could do it all in the new variable this substituted variable but that means changing these limits so that's the next part change these limits so when x is 0 according to this u is going to be 5 times that which is also 0 and when x is 1 upon root 10 then u will be 5 times the square of that so that's 5 upon 10 which is a half now, changing the limits is worth a mark. Now we start replacing it. So what have we got? We're going from 0 to a half now. Not changing this part. The dx gets replaced by du over 10x. The denominator will now be 1 minus 5x squared means that's the square of it, so that's u squared. Now replacing the differential gets you the next mark, and then the rest of the substitutions when tidied up, so that x will cancel out with that x, and you might as well take the 10 out of it, so it'll be a tenth of the integral from 0 to a half of, and that'll just be du over the square root of 1 minus u squared gets the next mark. And of course when you're down to there, you're down to a pattern you recognise, that's inverse sine. So you've got one tenth of inverse sine of u from zero to a half. That's worth the next mark. No, it's just a case of evaluating. So that'll be a tenth of inverse sine of a half minus the inverse sine of zero. Well, a half came from 30 degrees, which is pi upon six. 0 came from 0, which means you've got pi upon 60 for your exact answer. Not a decimal, find the exact answer.